our seminar offering today uh, significant changes in the seismic design provisions of ASCE 722. Uh, this will be uh, one of a, a, a four-part series that we would like to present to you on, on this topic. Uh, and before I go much further, let me uh, say that from the previous edition of AC7 dated 2016 to AC722, there are very substantive changes and, and way <laughs> too many changes. Uh, pretty much every chapter has undergone changes. Uh, the, the, some of the biggest changes are that all environmental loads, including snow loads, are at strength level. So in, in strength design load combinations, the load factor on snow is going to be 1. In ASD load combinations, the load factor is going to be less than 1. Also, the importance factor, which we have traditionally used to change the return period of loads, has uh, been dispensed with, except in seismic design. So there are no uh, important factor, importance factor in snow design, for instance. You will have multiple snow maps corresponding to multiple return periods as we did with wind some time ago. Uh, there is a whole new chapter on design for tornado loads that you may have heard about. Uh, anyway, uh, the changes are big. Big to the point that last uh, summer, starting last summer, July through October, we presented a, a 10 part seminar on changes to uh, AC 722. Uh, now, uh, in view of uh, the, well, let me say that AC 722 has been adopted by the 24 IBC. So whenever 24 IBC gets adopted by the legal code of your jurisdiction, you will have to design by AC 722. That day is approaching in parts of the country. The big adoption traditionally is California. California will adopt the 24 IBC effective January 1 of 26, which is as far away as it seems. Uh, there are other states that will follow. There are states that will go earlier. Uh, so, uh, AC, so design by AC 722 is going to be required in the near term future. Uh, also, uh, there are features in AC 722 that may prompt engineers to try to design by AC 722 before it is required. So that is also a possibility. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the we we thought that the seismic design provisions are probably uh, I don't want to say more problematic, but they probably require a little more attention than maybe some other parts of AC7. So this is why this whole part series, uh, many of the uh, uh, slides and things are definitely repeated from last uh, summer, but we have particularly today's portion, which is on chapter 11, we have added uh, pretty substantial new material and, uh, and and because of that yesterday we increased the length of the seminar from two to two and a half hours. I, I may not need 
two and a half hours to get done earlier will be done earlier but I did want to keep that time for the focus to, to make a full discussion possible. The uh, seismic chapters of AC7 are chapters 11 through 23. 23 contains the uh, references that are made from the seismic chapters. So in any case, chapter 11 is uh, the chapter that deals with uh, essentially ground motion parameters. Parameters related to seismic ground motion that, that we use in seismic design. Yeah. Chapter 12 is uh, design of building structures which will be the, uh, the topic in our part 2. Then chapter 13 is non-structural components which will be our topic in part 3. And chapter 15 is uh, design of non-building structures which will be our topic in part 4. 